Hello, welcome to Top Trading Edge. Uh, today, third December. I'm sorry, <laughs> third January. And let's take a look at the market conditions. See what market is doing. And today was the first day of the year, 2023. 2022 is over now. Let's take a look and see what market did today. So as you can see right here, we are basically compressing right underneath the 50-day moving average and 100-day moving average. So still we are in the compression mode right here at 380. So the resistance what we see right now here is around, uh, just a second, let me put a price there so we can see right here. So we are playing in between right now, compression in between 386 and 376. And that's where the market is right now, ping pong. But remember folks, tomorrow we have the uh, FMC minute also and market might react. So we are in a bear cycle right now. So bear cycle, but remember last, uh, you know, last year right here 2020 so we had 10 days before market close on 2022 we had 10 10 days market pretty much you know reshuffle rebalancing a lot of uh, tech sales and 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 um, you know reshuffling happened right that's why the market pretty much didn't do much much action on north side or south side it just reshuffle in between we did not go anywhere last 10 days right previously 10 days now the whole new book new year starting so that's what it looks like market might now rewrite the book basically it could be north south right so the bull scenario rise here is 386 once you break that we have resistance here at 388 so we have a bunch of resistance to cross and the bear scenario is right here 376 that's the support breaks we could go lower right here but remember we are totally in a bear cycle as the magda is in the sitting in the uh, bear territory and also we need to keep it in more what i notice here is the squeeze is building up as you can see right here this is the channel has been built every time the channel builds and it break out all right it could have, it could be north it could be south but the macd is right here in the bear territory squeeze building up the macd is still bear territory bullish but if it crossed down the signal line we could go lower so that could happen if market breaks 376 then definitely we will be entering into bear uh, the MACD could enter into bear uh, signal line and we could be going lower as the squeezes might get fire. So that could be the one side and north side would be, you know, you never know. Anything can happen, folks, okay? It could be a bulls, it could be bearish. We need to find out. But I also noticed while looking at it, look at the flow. I look at today, uh, first day of the year, and I see a lot of puts being purchased on Apple, millions of dollars spending on Apples now by targeting 105 right here, 105, 105 puts. So, well, that 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 it could be agenda, but hey, we just need to keep it in mind. These are the order flow, right? When order flow comes in, it doesn't mean that it's going to happen here, yeah? where people can take the money and run in small chunk. So, but we just need to keep it in mind. This is, uh, I, I saw something. I saw, let me say something right here. So, that's the that's the four-hour chart. It's not the daily chart. So, daily chart, what is telling me, still in a compression mode. Same thing on a four-hour looking compression mode right here. But still, the volume right here is in a bear cycles. So uh, at this point, particular market, I would give a little few more days and see what market maker agenda would be. This week would decide the direction. So maybe another day or two would give you some directions, and then the Friday option expiry, folks. Remember that. So uh, yeah, that might be a some. Let the market set up a trap, bulls or bear. We do not know which direction they want to set up the trap, but bulls or bear another day right another day or two and then friday option expiry or maybe you can they set up the whole trap of the whole weeks and then uh, next week they can change right that's what could happen so right now i would give a little time i don't want to rush anywhere folks because i don't see anything here in terms of jumping in any bandwagon other than what i showed you on the four hour charts and the macd and so um, it looks 70 80 percent bearish right here in terms of going in a direction next few days but hey you never know market maker has agenda right that's why because all the retailers are bearish on in the market that's why but still we need to go behind the when market goes market maker goes we would like to go behind them we don't want to go first so that's why because i don't see a direction here we just as you look at the price the way prices are right here is a compression mode so it's going to explode or implode right that's what we need to say so not, not to anticipate not to uh, speculate let the market maker go all right so let's start with the 2023 today we had excellent day today folks we had a great time right so those who do not know top trading edge folks we are every day live on youtube free of charge live every day morning 9 30 to 4 p.m so see you tomorrow morning all right here top trading edge academy right here
join is free folks okay thank you bye